Hi guys, I hope you're well. Nick here. So I'm recording my first video ever today from Koh Samui. So I'm sure I'll look back on this in the future and laugh, but I'm currently in a resort beachside in the north of Koh Samui near Bangrak, Chawong Beach, I think the name is. So what I wanted to do is a quick video on three lessons I've learned in my business journey so far. So for those that don't know, I own two property investment agencies, one in the UK and one in Dubai. The first one of those businesses I started in January 2019, January 8th. And since then, we've generated over $3.2 million in sales commission across the two businesses. The majority of that has come from the UK one, but the Dubai one, which I started in November 2021, has also contributed to that as well. So, what I wanted to do is speak through three core lessons that I've learned and what I think could be useful for anyone that's you know in the first or early years of their business journey. Right, number one is taking action quickly. Now, in the self-development space, there's a lot of talk around how you need to you know, take action, move forward, make decisive decisions, etc. etc. And predominantly that is true. However, I would change it from taking action to taking action quickly. So what you want to do is when you have an idea, when you hear something that motivates or inspires you, or when you come across something that needs you know, decisive action, basically the point is to take action quickly, ideally the same day. Because what will happen is if you implement it quickly and you see some form of result or it becomes the new normal for you, then obviously that's going to encourage you further. But more importantly, if you delay or if you don't take action you know, almost immediately, then your brain's going to talk you out of it effectively. So in the next day or two later, then it's not going to have the same oomph or the same you know, emphasis. You won't be as enthusiastic about it as, as you were originally. And as a result, you might not implement it at all. So really, really key lesson I've learned is, you know, whether it's some form of business decision, whether it's, you know, a new market you're targeting, whether it's getting back to someone, whatever it may be, taking action quickly within 24 hours is generally the best idea to, to get the most momentum. So that's what number one would be, taking action quickly. Now, number two would be to have emotional stability. So what you'll find through your journey is that there'll be lots of ups and downs, especially during the early days. You know, I remember the first year I was alone, I was working from my bedroom and that was the most difficult time, without doubt, compared to the second, third, and now fourth year. So being able to be unreactive, emotionally stale, stable, sorry, and you know, stoic to some extent will serve you, you know, very, very well indeed. There's gonna be lots of times when you're gonna have big wings quick wins or you're going to be really positive about the business or businesses and there's going to be other times where you have lots of downs where it's a lot more negative where you're impacted financially and you know mentally through you know the day-to-day -day life of, of entrepreneurship so it's absolutely key that you can remain emotionally stable so take the rough with the rough take the good with the good try not to be too you know aggressive in the ups and downs and how you're thinking about things having that emotional stability will be absolutely key. Right, number three would be delegation. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs, they have, you know, obviously entrepreneurial DNA. So the natural go-getters, they're naturally, you know, inspired. They're often leaders. They want to do things and implement things themselves. But I've really, really learned the power of teams and the power of being able to delegate or partner with other people if they are the right people. Now, that's obviously down to you to recruit effectively and make sure you're bringing the right people into your circle and into your business. But if you do get the right people, it'll be absolutely paramount to your success. There's no way we could have done $3.2 million in under four years with that by myself, effectively. It would have been too challenging when you're looking after all the different parts of the business. So, I mean, the first point I can think of is with the UK company, I bought in another partner, director, shareholder after a year or two sorry, after just over a year into the business, and that's been absolutely paramount. He's more of a you know, social character, he's, he's likeable, he's more of a people person, so he does often handle a lot of our big relationships and you know, the key accounts in the UK market, whereas I'm more you know, analytical, operations driven, I look at bigger strategy, bigger picture stuff, and I like to be you know, more entrepreneurial and be able to adapt and move and not get caught up with the day-to-day -day running of the business. As I say, I want to work on the business, not in the business. So having that character, that other half effectively, who's, you know, he's effectively the right-hand man, 
It's been absolutely incredible. So shout out to Toby if you ever watch this. And yeah, other areas of the business has been where I've implemented delegation effectively would be sales. So when I started off, I was obviously hammering the phones, trying to close as much business as possible. Sorry for the background noise, guys. I'm in a resort here, so there's a bit of a few kids around. Being able to have good salespeople come on board, good brokers that can close business, but do it in the way that you want it to. So they come in, you train them up, you tell them all the cores, all the nuts and bolts, the values you operate by, and really ingrain that culture in them. And they will get out there and they're effectively working like machines for you, you know, day in, day out. Because yes, there's only so much that you can do alone when you're, when you're operating in, in a sales environment and you're trying to run a business as well. So, you know, we've built up a team to, across the businesses now, about 15, 16 people, you know, probably 11 or so of them, 12 of them are, are salespeople. I and mean, then obviously we have key administration, operations, marketing people in the background. And then we use agencies, you know, digital marketing agencies, accounting firms, etc., etc. I'm just trying to constantly outsource as much as I can so I can stay focusing on the core stuff that matters and that will grow the business. So that's strategy, that's ideas, that's sometimes big deals, and that's sometimes new partnerships, getting them onboarded and then delegating and handing that over. So being able to get people in place to operate and to scale your business is absolutely paramount. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. As I say, the first video, just wanted to get that one out there quick. And they're three lessons I've learned from generating over $3.2 million in sales commission. And they are taking action quickly, emotional stability, and being able to delegate effectively. So I hope that helps, guys. I'll speak to you soon.